Hello. Today's video is all about this ultimate festive look. Whether you're celebrating on the couch, doing a virtual Christmas party over Zoom, it's about time that we got ourselves glam and felt good about it. So this is all about your classic take on that festive style. So red lips, bit of flick, bit of gold glitter. I mean, it's not Christmas without it. And obviously tons of glow. So I'm gonna talk you through exactly how to master this in a few simple products, a few simple steps, and I hope that you enjoy. So to start to get the face prepped, you can see I have half it done. So I'm lacking a bit of color this side and I have it on this side. And I'm gonna to go to our beauty blocks for this. This is your all-in-one complexion palette. So it's got your bronzer, cream highlight, powder highlight, and blusher in one. So I'm gonna start by taking a small amount of bronzer, really pigmented on my double-ended brush, and I'm gonna start sculpting the cheekbones. So very, very lightly into the hollows of my cheekbone and hugging my cheekbone at the end. I'm gonna take some into my hairline and down the sides of the nose. The more that you layer, the stronger your contour will be. So it's up to yourself how dramatic or festive you're feeling. So we're going for lots of glow in this festive tutorial, but I have to show you liquid light. So this is our liquid highlight and blush combo. So I'm gonna take some of the highlight onto my hand. I'm gonna use my ring finger, and I'm gonna very lightly tap this into the tips of my cheekbones because this is just so simple to apply. It's so radiant, so dewy, and it just gives a total lit from within glow to the skin. You can, of course, top up with that with some powder highlight. Not that you need it, but just, you know, why not throw on every glow possible when we're probably sitting at home having our Christmas party over Zoom. And then I'm gonna add some blush. So taking the corner down here, this is called Sunset Sheen, so it's a gorgeous peachy pink and it's got a glow running through it. So it just gives an instant pick-me-up to the complexion to avoid any kind of one dimension in the center of the face. I'm focusing it into the apples because that's the most youthful part. So you can make it as strong or light as you want and it just gives an instant lift. So given we're going for a red lip, I'm gonna keep the eyes quite simple, which is also great because it makes it a little bit easier, but it also allows the lips to be the focus and to remain the impact of the look if you want. So I'm taking my blender brush and I'm taking the same bronzer that I have on my cheekbones and I'm going to take that into my eyelid. So I'm bringing this back and forth across into my socket and just below my brows. So onto that brow bone and slightly underneath. So bronzers are great because they contain warmth, so they're gonna pop any kind of eye color, but they're also a really like non-overwhelming color to use, especially when you're pairing it with say more of a statement lip and you want the focus to be on that. I'm gonna take some of the gold highlight. Again, we're all about doubling up multi-purpose. Bring some around my lid. Look how that instantly adds a bit of life, a bit of sparkle, a bit of glitz for our festive look. And obviously it's working to bring out the lighter tones in the eye as well. So I'm gonna do a flick liner, but I'm gonna do it with shadow. So two reasons. Firstly, it's far easier. And secondly, it's a nice way to do a take on a vintage kind of flick without the extreme drama of one. So I'm gonna show you a little tip. I'm gonna use the matte brown shadow from our full face edit golden highlights on my angle brush. However, to increase the pigment of it, I'm gonna take my Hydrate and Hold setting spray. So this is a great tip if you want to create more of like a coal-like version with your shadows. So I'm spritzing my brush. I'm then gonna go into my shadow and pick up some of that. So I'm not spritzing the actual eyeshadow itself. I'm just spritzing the brush. And then I'm gonna start in the corner here and flicking out, turn my brush around and come back in. So you can see already by having that moist shadow it gives very much like a coal liner effect. So it gives more dramatic, but it's so simple. This is obviously a brown. You can go for black if you want to, but I love the softer tones and I love the hint of definition it gives to the lash line, but obviously we can make it more dramatic and draw it out into a flick like I have done there. And now for the statement part of this festive look, it is of course our red lip. And I'm gonna go with our Ruby Rouge lip duo. So you've got liner and lipstick on one end. So I'm gonna start by lining my lips. So 
going ever so slightly just outside the natural lip shape. You don't have to do this. This is just my preference when it comes to my own shape. Now, wearing a red lip means your lips are on show. It means you're wearing a statement, which is exactly what we want, but we need to be sure that our lips are perfect. This is like your best friend, particularly with a statement lip, and I'm gonna clean up around. So that is Ruby Rouge on there. It's very much a blue undertone red, so it will help to make your teeth look whiter, but it's that full bang, but it's like a rich red, which we really like. So it's a very classical shade and take on the color. And it's one that any coloring could wear provided you're ready to brave a red lip. That is the festive look. Red lip, check. Gold glitter slash shadow, check. Tons of glow, check. And obviously our flick liner. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, enjoy the products if you do try them and enjoy feeling glam regardless of how festive you're getting or whether the party's over Zoom or not this year, um, it definitely helps to make us feel better.